Hey everybody, welcome to Truth About Design, where we give candid truths and guidance for the design industry. And in this video, we are going to talk about the type of person that succeeds at freelancing. See, in previous videos, we've talked about the pros and cons and the brutal truth of freelancing as a designer. And we've said that only a certain type of person succeeds at this. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what type of person that is, because if you're not that type of person, don't do it, don't freelance. So here's what I've discovered is what makes a freelance designer successful. People who succeed as freelance designers have more drive than the average person. See, all my life, the only thing I ever wanted was a steady, secure, full-time role at a nice company. But the hiring managers, I think they saw that I'm not that type before I even saw it in myself. And one of the hiring managers even told me to my face, yeah, Jamal, I don't think you're the type for a full-time role. You're just too hungry to stay at a steady job. And he was right, because a year later, he called me about a new gig at his company, and I couldn't accept it because I had moved from Frankfurt to San Francisco to work at Walmart Labs. You see, successful freelancers, they don't do it because they want to. Who the hell would want to take a risk like that? Successful freelancers do it because they have no other choice. And everyone around them knows it too. In the big five of psychological traits, successful freelancers score high on conscientiousness, which means they have an internal motor that drives them to work hard and make things happen. And if you put them in the forest with an ax, they just start chopping down trees like mad. And that drive to create, it oftentimes gets stunted when you are in a full-time role, especially at a huge company. Next, successful freelancers value their free time. They value being able to structure their own time. They are very good at structuring their own time as well and making the most of it. So when they work in a full-time role, they feel constricted, like they could get so much more done if they just didn't have to come to this place every day. Successful freelancers also value creative freedom more than they value security. They value that expression more than they value security. They value being able to build their lives exactly as they want it. And they see the opportunity of being able to do so as being much greater than the risk associated with potentially failing. And you know, as I said previously, they are good at organizing their own time and their life. And they see full-time jobs where they have to compromise on that as an impediment. Successful freelancers are quick learners. See, you need to have a variety of skills to be a successful freelancer. You need to be able to pick up on things quickly and be able to teach yourself a lot of the time because if you're on this path, it's very, very unlikely that you'll have a personal trainer who just takes you by the hand and guides you towards mastery. So you need to be able to teach yourself and be autodidactic in your approach. Successful freelancers are good at marketing themselves and they're not afraid of rejection. A successful freelancer puts themselves out there because you need to do that. Because if you don't, you don't get any business. And I know that marketing sounds like a dirty word for many creatives. You think of like those sleazy used car salesmen or the Wolf of Wall Street or those tacky Instagram ads. But I would challenge you to try and think of it this way. If people don't know about you, then they don't know how you can help them. And marketing at its core is about finding people that your services would be useful to and then telling them about it in a way that resonates with them. That's it. So can you go out and find people that will be interested in what you have to offer and can you tell them about why you'd be useful to them? See, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you will fail as a freelance designer. The truth about design freelancing is that a lot of people who work freelance, they just don't fit in anywhere else. Either because they are unable to fit in or they just simply refuse to give up a part of who they are in order to fit into an existing structure. They're strong-willed and a bit hard-headed, and in the big five of psychological traits, they score lower on agreeableness. And because of that, they often get fired from full-time jobs. Mark Cuban got fired from his first three jobs before he started his own business, primarily because he made decisions for himself rather than following orders that made no sense to him. The topic of Mark Cuban brings me to the idea that freelancers are entrepreneurs. The entrepreneur lifestyle is getting hyped like crazy lately, 
It seems like everyone is trying to sell the dream of being able to make it by working for yourself. If you are the entrepreneur type, you likely know that you are already. So you should just go for it and stop being afraid because a job won't make you happy. But if that's not you, then don't try to be that just because entrepreneurship is the newest thing to get hyped like crazy. Look, being an employee is a wonderful life if you can work at a good company. It's a great path to take with your life and it's a steady, safe way to build wealth gradually. And trust me, if I could have done it, if that would have been the path for me, I would have absolutely taken it. It's a great path to take with your life. So that's it for this time. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comments or reach out to me at info at truthaboutdesign.com and I look forward to hearing from you soon.